All right, so in this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to create an asset that when you break a chunk, it will disappear and be replaced with particles. So this is an asset you want to make if you really don't want to have a lot of rigid bodies in your scene, uh, or possibly none at all. Okay, so the first thing we do is load our asset and go to File, Import 3D Mesh. Um, the mesh we're going to be importing is this Jersey Concrete Cutout. Uh, the first thing you'll notice in the bottom is that we are missing the texture parameter. I wanted just to show you this so we could show you how to import a texture. So go to the graphics tab. You'll notice there's a green texture right now. So we'll load a texture as material. We'll grab our Jersey Barrier texture. Um, and you can see it actually shows up in the material library. And you go up to the top and you hit the left arrow to bring in the Jersey Barrier material. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use a cutout texture to slice this top piece into five separate pieces. So we'll go to the cutout and we'll load a bitmap that I've prepared for this. Really simple, just a couple lines and vertical slices how we showed it. Now when this first comes in, it's going to project in the negative x, as you can see here in the projection, uh, if we slide it to the left here. Uh, we can actually change this projection using the view. And we'll actually, you can preview which one you want. The one we want is y+. Plus. So once you've got the right projection you want, you go down to Enable and enable it for the planes that you want it to. You can do as many planes as you want, so you can cut from all six axes. Um, below that, we have a lot of different parameters for you to play with, but the one we're going to talk about today is simply thickness. So right now you can see it only cuts all the way, halfway through. We want this thing to cut all the way, so we go ahead and do a thickness of 100%. Uh, and as you can see, the projection updates, and we are all the way cut through. Next step is we go over to the, uh, to the right panel again and hit Fracture. Once we do that, you'll see we actually have our nice five pieces that we can uh, expand and contract. So the next step we want to do is we're going to go ahead and change the inner material. Uh, right now it's set up with a UV scale of 1-1. One, one. Um, so I'm just going to grab a different material, bring it in. You can see it here. and We can actually change the width and the height of how much you want to scale it. And you'll actually see it update in real time on the left side. Um, once you have your UVs set how you want, you set the inner material to the new inner material we brought in. So the next step after this is we want to go into playground mode so you can actually see how this thing is going to break. Uh, and as you see, it's not exactly how you want right now. I have the gravity set at a negative value so we can see it all go up. Um, the first thing you want to do is you obviously want this to stay on the ground. So there's a couple of parameters we can set. We can set the world overlap or the support depth. World overlap will hold the chunk on the ground if it is intersecting with world geometry. As you can see here, it is not. So what we need to do a little different here is actually tell the bottom chunk not to fracture and not to damage. This actually gets us most of the way to the behavior we're looking for. We're just, we're just knocking off the top pieces. Um, you'll also notice that I set the support depth to 1, so those top chunks will self-support each other. If I don't do that, everything comes apart all at once. So we'll set that back to 1. Um, the, the last thing you're looking for here is we actually do not want those chunks to go to rigid bodies. We will do this with the debris settings. So as you see here, we can check the debris box on the chunk relevance, hit the advanced tabs, and you're given two options, uh, max separation range and lifetime range. What we want to do here is we want the lifetime to be zero. So as soon as this chunk is hit, it disappears. And as you can see, this is our desired behavior. We're going to take this into UE3, and we're going to add a uh, particle system and show you what it would look like as a final product. 